welcome to Clawson World. I am not in the garden currently, as you can see. I am in the house. The sun is still not in a position for me to go outside. Just finished up work and I thought I'd come in and show you a few things I got in the mail today. So today is going to be a gardening haul. And once the sun moves over in the backyard, has a little bit more uh, shade, I'll go out and I'll work in the garden and I'll take you out there. But first, I want to show you all what I got in the mail. Now, some of the stuff that I've got in the mail is going to be for my spring garden. As you all know, seeds have been really hard to come by. And so when you find something, it's best to just go ahead on and pick it up. So I purchased a few seeds for my medicinal garden, as well as some literature. Uh, I heard some really good things about this medicinal book, herb book, and I am trying to in increase my uh, herb and holistic medicinal garden. So this book I'm going to be doing a deep dive into because I'm very interested in growing herbs as well as other uh, plants that are used for medicinal purposes. I have a great deal of them in the garden and I just bought more to expand upon that and I'll show you exactly, well, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I will talk to you guys about what I picked up. And these are the seeds that I picked up. I happen to be watching uh, someone else's YouTube video and they showed a packet of seeds that had a, um, a name on it that I wasn't familiar with. Oh, that was a free gift they gave me. I'll talk to you guys about that. And so I jotted it down like I do when I'm watching many YouTube videos. I jot stuff down on my little notepad to go back and take a look at that video or take a look at that company. And this particular company was one of those companies that I happened to see in a video. So I jotted them down and I went ahead on and liked what I saw and I bought some things for my medicinal uh, herbal garden and I've got some anise seeds my sister loves anise so I want to see if I can grow some anise and it's really tiny so I don't think you guys are going to be able to see that but the company is called seedsnow.com so that's my anise seeds and I bought some uh, French parsley it's called chervil I'm sure I'm pronouncing that incorrectly I bought some uh, fennel seeds. I'm not a fan of fennel. The taste is uh, like licorice, but it's very good for you medicinally. So everything that's good for us isn't always going to taste good. And so we need to um, get past our tongue and nourish our body. So that's what I'm trying to do. Get, back, get past my tongue and nourish my body. I was able to finally get my hands on some whorehound. So I've got that. I picked up some lovage finally was able to get a hold of that and what I will do in the description box below I will put a list of everything that I purchased today and where I got it from and if you're interested interested in any of these products you can look up the medicinal properties for yourself I finally was able to get my hands on some mugs wart I know that sounds like something Harry Potter doesn't it <laughs> I was able to pick up some rue. I was able to finally get my hands on some tansy. I've been looking for some tansy for quite a long time. And that seed is just so tiny. It's like a little like dust. It reminds me of uh, lettuce seeds. Very, very tiny. And I was able to finally get my hands on some worm wood. And that seed is even smaller than the tansy so even though I really don't like germinating inside the house I have had very little success with that I am gonna probably have to germinate some of these inside the house and so exciting they sent me a free seed starter kit oh that's nice broccoli it's the Calabrese yes that's a really good broccoli it's Calabrese and they sent me this little gift so it looks like it could be one of those little bitty uh, oh I don't know what they're called you all see them little the little seed starter little pop-up you put the water on it and it grows 
don't y'all I don't know I don't buy them I've seen them so I, I don't know but yes I have a little seed starter kit for the Calabrese that's really lovely I, I may end up having to actually print print uh, pot this one up for my fall garden it's not too late to plant your brassicas it's right on time depending on where you live all right so that was my seeds now you guys have already seen my previous video and you saw how excited I was to get my latest two trees in my garden and the apple tree I thought I did a really good job checking the leaves making sure that it didn't appear to be diseased but the leaves are starting to look a little funny they're turning a little bit yellow uh, so I had already had plans after watching another youtubers video I dial into her lives every week because I'm trying to get all that information in you guys and use it for myself and so I picked up this book right here because I bought my very first fruit tree last year which was my lemon tree and that one is doing really well after it had a hiccup this past uh, fall and springtime it's bounced back like gangbusters but that apple tree is starting to look it's starting to worry me a little bit so I am going to be deep diving into this one tonight um, I'm an avid reader so this will be done more than likely this evening but I want to make sure that all the trees that I've purchased um, I'm doing the very best to keep them not only alive but to th have them thrive and to produce fruit for me as a matter of fact you all will see in another video I've actually purchased a few more fruit trees I'm not going to tell you what they are until they come in I'll show them to you but I did purchase a few more fruit trees because I am very serious about making sure that on my homestead I have a uh, a food forest very serious about that so those are the two books that I, I purchased and I have been if you've watched my previous video I have been attempting to uh, air layer I did my first air layering I will take you on an adventure this afternoon or this evening when the Sun starts to move over a little bit more and I'm gonna air layer my second time today on something completely different but I purchased an air layering kit um, I felt like because I'm such a <clears throat> novice at it that I really needed some tools to help me be better at air layering you if you all watch that video you know I need a little help <laughs> and I am I'm not the kind of person that will say uh, or not say when I need help and I definitely needed it in that video so I bought a little kit a little kit to help me out it comes with two rolls of, of the tape that they use and I've been watching someone else's uh, air layering YouTube video and so I probably won't use this uh, he doesn't recommend it but we'll see how it goes and of course I got the um, this is not air layering but this is grafting I would attempt grafting again my first graft grafting attempt did not go well but I got my first grafting kit if I said air layering I do apologize I got my first grafting kit because I felt like um, I didn't something went wrong on my first grafting what I think was because I was traveling so far with those clippings that maybe I didn't put them in enough water because I put them I wrapped them with a paper towel wet paper towel put them in the plastic bag but I think they might have dried out uh, before I got them back to where I live because I was driving a bit of a distance in order to be able to get them and with this um, grafting kit it came with a a knife so pretty interesting I have not I just opened this up out of the box I haven't actually looked at any of this I don't I haven't messed with it at all so I'm not quite sure um, exactly what's what but I do know that this knife is very sharp so I will be using at least this knife uh, in just a little bit because I am going to be air layering when I get out in the garden and hopefully this time it, it works better than the first go round. all right and last but certainly well actually no this is not the last thing but second to last thing I picked up a tape tool I don't know if you all are familiar with tape tools it looks kind of like a big stapler 
and what it's used for is I have lots of vining um, fruits I have grapes I have kiwi vine I have a passion uh, fruit vine and vines they spread out they vine and I've been using twine in order to tie them up onto um, whatever I'm tying them up to I've been using stakes but when I'm able to get to my homestead I will be taking all of those vining fruits and I will be turning them into um, an espalier um, fruit and so in order to be able to do that faster without using twines I bought this um, tape tool and all it does is you take your vine as a matter of fact let me open it because I haven't I just pulled it out of the box like literally just got the mail and opened it up and turned on the camera so let me take this out of the box and show you guys what it looks like versus showing you the box Eww. I wasn't gonna say that word <laughs> if you know the word I wasn't gonna say it okay let's see wow it's really in here okay comes with instructions important to read your instructions I tend not to do that sometimes all right and here it is this is the tape tool and all you do is you put your your vine right through here and then you push the lever and then it tapes down with the state it, it comes with staples it just staples it down it's like a big stapler it just staples it down over the vine over whatever you're vining it attaching it to does that make sense let's just say oh I don't have anything here let's just say this was the um, the trellis or the um, I don't know whatever you're trying to to tape your vines up to you just take your trellis take your take your plant and then do it like that and staple and it will attach it to whatever you're trying to attach to I hope that makes sense guys but this is the tape tool that I bought to be able to tape up versus having to tie up because sometimes when you're trying to tie something there's all these vines around there's leaves hitting you in the face maybe that's just my experience but it's just it's really cumbersome and in order to be able to just hold the vine and tape around it without having to worry about tying because I usually have on gloves and that just kind of interferes with what you're trying to do so it also comes with a lot of rolls of tape which I'm really excited that it has so many rolls of tape and it comes with a box of staples so that's exciting so yes that's my my help when I am tying up all of my vines I needed that because I've been using twine and it just that wasn't working out so that's all I have to show you guys did I show you oh I forgot to tell you I'm sorry I moved on so quickly because I'm, I'm so excited about the the tape tool but the grafting tool comes with a case comes with your two rolls of tape comes with this extremely sharp knife it comes with a wrench so that you can take apart the tool itself and add your blade it comes with two blades it has three different sizes for your your cuts on the tool it comes with a little bitty screwdriver which I didn't quite need but I'm happy to have another screwdriver and then of course your tool itself which I did show you guys you guys can probably hear baby girl she just came in here took a toy out of her toy box and ran down the hallway and of course this is the tool to help with grafting and then of course it came like I said in a, a little pouch let me put all this back in here so that I don't lose anything because that's always a possibility and then it comes in this little pouch so that's nice so that's what I purchased to help me with my grafting as well as um, to help me with uh, air layering the knife and to be able to pin up all of the vines because my grape vines I've been pinning them up by hand and they're continuing to grow out uh, the 
passion flower vine is continuing to grow out and I've been tying that up by hand and I just thought this this tape tool would be a little bit easier for me to just be able to uh, staple it onto the um, stake or trellis or whatever you're trying to attach it to so that's it for me for right now and I will see you guys in the garden oh you know what I almost forgot I also got this in the mail this week and I'm loving it I have my uh, hot lemon water in it right now so just something else I'm adding to my uh, gardening repertoire so I'll see you guys in a little bit when I get into the garden and then I will be attempting one more time to air layer so until then okay I found an opportunity to use the tape tool this poor little plant has seen better days um, my mom gave this to me and she actually cut it from a larger plant and it has not bounced back it has not gained any um, height to it it's very very thin and so it's on its last little leg <clears throat> so I'm just gonna show you hopefully you guys can see let me I'm trying to move over into the corner uh, what you do is you just take the tape tool here's the tool right here can you guys see how you place it around your plant like so and then you just squish the lever like that and it takes okay let's see if this will work I'm just gonna try to attach this piece there we are so that's how that works just like that and I don't believe this piece will attach that well but I'm going to attempt to attach both of these pieces together like that and so that's how the tape machine works I hope you all saw me tape that together I'm not the most patient person in the world but I think I got it and now this used to be attached with this twine right here and now I can just take this twine off of this little stake and uh, use it for something else in the garden so that is how the tape machine or the tape tool works. Of course you guys can hear me. I am in the garden and this is my wisteria that I bought, I want to say a year ago, last spring I think I bought this. And it was a tiny little bitty stick, not even as tall as my kneecaps and now it's taller than I am and it has wrapped itself nicely around this um, tomato cage that I put into the, into the pot not really thinking that it would be so vigorous so I'm gonna try to attempt to air layer a few of these branches and I hope you guys can see um, uh, this is a lot of mangled branches can you guys see that how all it's it's twisted itself around so much in here and I want to take down some of this so that it's not so leggy it's very leggy uh, the plant itself let me show you before I get deep into here the plant itself goes all the way down to that pot where you see the tool and if you can see, it's it's very sparse. It's like it, all that is trunk all the way up until my hand right about here. All of that is trunk from there down into the pot. And so I don't know if I can prevent it from continuing to grow like that or if this is the way it is. But I am going to attempt to air layer, hopefully not get ate up by the mosquitoes but I am going to see what I can do here. So I have a knife, very sharp knife. 
This is my brand new grafting knife. And I want to try to air layer the, this pencil piece right here. It's about the size of maybe a pencil, maybe. And it's wrapped itself around a much thinner piece. I don't know if I can move some of these branches out of the way, but I'm going to attempt to do that. So I'm going to try to grab this one here, and I hope you guys can see. There's one, let me turn around so I, so I can see if you guys can see. There's one right here as well that I want to try to graft. This piece right here, I want to try to graft. And I'm not sure if there's a, a quick or easy way to do this. I'm not sure. I don't believe there is. And I'm trying to move this canopy out of the way so that I can get to the business of trying to graft. And I think I've done it. Oh, wait, before I do it, let me show you guys. It's bloomed. Can you guys see that? It's bloomed. Oh, look at that. That's the second time this season it's bloomed. Amazing. Okay, let me get down to the business of this before I get ate up by the mosquitoes because I'm going to be losing light here really soon. Okay, so I have all my tools. I have my sacks of soil. I have my aluminum foil. And I have my twist tie. So I think I have everything I need. I'm just going to try to delve in here. And I do believe I'm going to have to take this leaf off. That's a leaf node where um, roots would probably come out of. But I'm going to see if I can take this in between the nodes. Because there is a node here and there is a node here. And I want to see if I can if I can graft it right here. So what I'm going to attempt to do, and this piece is in the way, but I'm going to attempt to do it right in the middle. And I'm just going to see if I can rock this blade without cutting straight through it all the way around. I do not want to cut straight through it. That would defeat the point. Right there. I'm going to go up and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to rock it all the way around like so. And I'm not going to sit here and say that I am good at this because I'm not. You all saw my last video where I tried to graph and it turned out to be a horrible mess. It was not successful at it at all. I did get it done, but I felt like it was an awful experiment. So now I'm going to try to cut straight down without cutting myself. And it's not really cooperating. So much. Maybe if I do it this way. Nope. Trying to go slow. Let's see. Trying to go slow. Get it cut through without cutting myself. I'm sure other people go really fast when they do this and they're a lot more accomplished than I am when they do it, but I'm not the best. I'm still learning and so far I was able to get this piece cut nicely. There we go, there we go, it's coming off. Look at that, I did something. Look at that, y'all, I did that. Look at that, I did that, y'all. I took it off, okay. I'm not gonna get overzealous. And then what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to scrape the cambium layer. Right in here. You're supposed to disrupt that highway, which is what I'm doing. Scrape, scrape, scrape. And I think I did a pretty good job of doing that. Okay, so now I'm going to take my needle hormone and I'm trying to work pretty quickly because I don't want
want it to dry out. I don't want any dust, dirt, or debris to get to it. I'm going to take some rooting hormone, just like so. And I'm going to try to get it on here without the wind getting it in my face. I'm having a bit of difficulty, but I'm trying. I think I did it. All right. I think I did it. I got some everywhere. I do it. Didn't mean to do that, but I'm trying. Okay, so now that you've done that, you take your plastic bag. My soil medium is moist. It's a little bit too wet, but I am going to take a slit in it or put a slit in it right here, like so. I'm not going all the way through the bag. I'm not cutting from top to bottom. I'm going to wrap this bag and let some of that, that water seep out because that's too much water. I'm just squeezing the soil. When I put water in here, uh, it was a little bit too much. All right, so I'm just going to take the soil, wrap it around that cut just like that wrap it all the way around and you're supposed to actually put your your twine or your uh, twist tie on there first before you start doing all that but that's a that's something I always manage not to do so I'm winging it you guys and I'm gonna tie it down at the bottom down here I know you guys can't see it but I'm just gonna twist it right here at the bottom just like so and then I'm going to take it and wrap it around but I'm trying to keep it on that spot and not move it and I'm, I'm working around this piece right here as you guys can see I'm working around branches everybody want to disrupt anything. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm trying. I'm trying to keep that soil wrapped around there. One day I'll be able to do this quickly without any hesitation or fear that I'm doing something wrong. I'm just wrapping this around here like so make sure that I keep that soil wrapped around that, that wound because that is indeed a wound. There we go. I'm almost done. It keeps getting hung up. Oh well, I snapped that little piece off. That's okay. I'll deal with him later. Alright, so I think I got it. I'm gonna cut this piece off and wrap it a little bit more. I'm trying to hold this thing, it's not working out. And this little cutter tool is just not my friend. There we are. All right, now I'm gonna make sure that it is secure. Make sure that the soil is, is touching it and it's holding it tight. I do not want this to come off. So I hope you guys can see and you're not looking at my elbow. I do apologize. I am not the best videographer. <laughs> no, I'm trying, y'all. I'm trying. Okay, so I'm just wrapping it around like that. And I think I got it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bottom piece off. I'm going to take it off and I'm going to secure it from the bottom a little bit better because I feel like this bottom piece is a little looser than I would really want it to be. So I'm just going to wrap it around that bottom a little bit tighter, just like so. And then I'm going to wrap it back around the actual 
limb and I think I got it I think I got it you guys I think I got it now I'm gonna take my aluminum foil because we gotta keep it in the dark this piece of aluminum foil and I'm going to first I'm going to cut this little piece off right here that broke because it's getting on my nerves I'm nervous enough as it is <laughs> all right so I'm going to take this aluminum foil I know my aluminum foil piece is really big but I wanted to make sure that it was going to be sufficient and I'm going to wrap this aluminum foil starting from the base So, just like so, dip up under that little twig right there, and I'm going to just wrap it up, just like that, securing it at the bottom, and that's, I'm probably going to lose this, this little branch right here, I'm going to secure it just like that. I'm going to squeeze it to make sure that it does have complete contact with that branch, meaning the soil itself. There we are. And I'm going to write today's date on it so that I know when to check on it again. All right, so I'm going to try this process. Hopefully, you all saw what I did. And I'm going to try that process right here. Can you guys see? I'll turn you all a little bit. I'm going to try this process right here. This is a nice size branch. And I'm going to actually try it in between these two nodes right here. So, I'm going to do it this way. First of all, i got to make sure I got the, <laughs> the sharp part of the knife pointing in the right direction. Good Lord. And I have my reading glasses on, y'all, so <laughs> that should tell you something. All right, so I'm just rocking this knife around like that to cut the bark. And I know you guys heard some dogs barking. Uh, the neighbor down the street has dogs. That is not my, my neighbor that used to be directly behind me. Uh, that gentleman has left the building. So his two little dogs uh, will not be barking anymore. The Golden Retriever and the, uh, what, is, what is that dog? Golden Retriever and Labrador Retriever. They have moved on. So I think I got it. So I'm going to try and cut a straight line, which I'm not doing a very good job of. So, I don't think I did a very good job of cutting into this piece right here, but I'm going to try to lift it up, there we are, get that piece off, and take this piece. look at that y'all, so much better than when I tried this the first time, y'all saw that first video, it was an absolute train wreck, I mean a garbage dumpster fire, absolute dumpster fire. But I'm doing a much better job this time around. There we are. So I peeled off the bark. I'm going to give this cambium layer a bit of a, a bit of an upset because you have to disrupt that pathway. And I hope I'm disrupting it enough. I don't know what enough looks like. I've seen other people do it, but I, it's just, it's different with everybody. All right, I think I got it. So I'm gonna take my hormone powder. I'm gonna put some in my hand. Because that just works best for me. I'm gonna place it 
on the wound like so. Just like that. I see I even got less less hormone powder everywhere, y'all. I'm starting to feel like I might know what I'm doing a little bit. <laughs> Not a lot, just a little bit. Okay, so I have my bag. trying to figure out how I cut it. This is a different size bag. I'm going to cut it just like that. I hope you guys saw me cut it the last time. And I'm going to place the bag. You know what? Nope. I'm going to do it. I'm going to place the bag. I was going to put that tie stuff on there first, but I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to do it. To get that soil wrapped around it like so, trying to make sure that that soil is touching all sides of that wound on the plant like so. All right, now I'm going to get some of that tie and I'm just going to pull a piece off because I don't want to have to keep fretting with this thing. not my friend y'all. I'm not accustomed to using it. It's my first time trying it. Uh, well the last time that I tried air layering was the first time me actually trying to use this product. So yeah. Okay I think I got it. I think I got all that soil touching all the way around. I'm going to tie it at the base right here. I can get that limb out of the way. Go away, limb. I know you want to see what's going on, but go away. Okay. I'm trying to tie it on this side over here. And then begin to wrap it. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. This limb just refuses to stay out of the way. I'm trying not to be rough and snatch it off. <laughs> Ooh, my patience is running low. My patience is running low today, y'all. I do apologize. All right. Just wrapping, wrapping, wrapping. Wrapping, wrapping, wrapping. All right. I think I got it. Pulling it as tight as I think I can. And I'm just going to secure it on this side over here. There we go. I'm just kind of tucking it under like so. And just pulling it. Alright. And I'm just going to twist it around one more time. And tuck it a second time like that. Alright. Now, I'm going to get my aluminum foil. through these leaves that just don't want to stay out of the way. I'm just going to wrap it up just like that. Just like that. Wrap it up just like that. And I'm going to make sure that I, I squeeze it so that I know that there is contact. Just like that. And I'm also going to take my Sharpie. And I'm going to write a date on it, today's date on it. And that way I know when I did it. So I know when to go back and check on it. So there you have it. I have just air layered for the second time and I think this time was better than first. It was indeed a bit smoother than my first time trying it but I must say that this is a younger much younger plant than the tree that I was trying to initially air layer and so this bark is uh, not as 
hard. So there you have it. I have just air layered two branches off of my wisteria. And if it works, I will have a wisteria plant uh, that I can pot up. And I might try to uh, do the same thing on another branch, but I want to get these two branches off first and then I can assess uh, on the other side that we cannot see if there's another branch over there that I can take off. But I do want to have two of these plants. So there you have it, my wisteria air layering, guys.